Hello guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Once again I'm Greg and this is the Starting Eleven show. Uh, we're continuing to stumble through a period of quite congested fixtures. That means the main focus at the moment is going to be on um, rotation but also fielding a, a team that's strong enough every time to get a result where we need it, right? Um, you could argue that, that having Fulham means this is the, the weakest of the teams we're going to face in this run and it means we can put out a few of the weaker players. Uh, and that's a two-sided coin because it's also a chance to get three points going into this. You know, we don't want to feel the weaker team here lose and then choose sort of uh, lose our best opportunity to get three points from the next nine. You know, um, in terms of things that are constraining us, uh, Calvert Lewin's out, but thank God it's only for one game. Uh, Pickford's out as well. Allen could be back next week, which would be a huge boost for us for the Merseyside derby. Um, and Gabamin's apparently a month away, the mystery man. In terms of the good news, um, as well, we have James and Gomez back for this game, um, which is fantastic in terms of what we can do creatively. So getting into the team, goalkeeper picks itself. It's got to be Olsen. Um, <laughs> you know, you look at a goalkeeper who's conceded seven in his last two games and, and typically you think that's not a good return for a goalkeeper, but, but it doesn't feel like that so much with him. Um, it feels like uh, it's been out of his hands. Most of the goals, of course, he made a few mistakes against Man United, but... Um, I don't think it was a necessarily a bad goalkeeping performance that, that caused us to sort of hemorrhage goals like we did against Spurs. Um, <clears throat> that seemed to be our, our set piece set up more generally and, and, and the man marking being quite poor. Then on the back line, the, the back four at the moment is, a, is a, a, it's a sort of who's who, isn't it? We've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of players to fill in the positions, but also a lot of adaptable players who can play across a few positions. We've got Godfrey who can play. Anywhere, Mason Holgate, who can play right back or centre back. Um, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a uh, pick and choose, um, a pick and mix. We uh, I'm I'm going to just put out backline here, um, sort of <laughs> at random at will. But um, of course, in the comments, let me know what you think you'd go with here. Would you go with our weakest backline, uh, or um, would you sort of cement? And, and go with our strongest. Let me know what you think our strongest is and then just keep that going and hope we've got the stamina to get through. Uh, so I'm going to go with Godfrey at right back. <clears throat> Some people would say that's his weakest position across the back line, but I also think it's our weakest position in the team uh, and he does a good enough job, uh, in, in my opinion. Could be Holgate there. Uh, the centre-back partnership, and, and I, I've said a while that I think this is our strongest centre-back partnership. I'm starting to worry, if, uh, I, I'm starting to think I might be wrong. Um, Yeri Mina and Michael Keane. Going into the beginning of the, at the beginning of the season, they were the two that played together the most. Uh, they looked to have a bit of cohesion. They looked to be on the same page. Now we're seeing other partnerships, you know, Godfrey and Mina specifically, that are that are looking a bit more polished. That, that seem to complement each other more. And I think Michael Keane's in a bit of a rut. Um, I, I say a rut. I mean, sort of two, two, maybe three weaker games. Uh, he seems to be a bit more in trouble against the big teams. Um, you could say it a mentality thing, but um, I think that might be an exaggeration. Um, but but here, I think those two are a good enough partnership to see through Fulham for sure. Um, and then on the left, I go with Luca Dean because um, starting left back, why wouldn't you? Great output for creativity, but that back line could go any which way. It could be the four centre backs that we like. Uh, Coleman could start because uh, it, it gives our our two right back options, uh, Holgate and, and Godfrey, a chance to rest and then and then be picked for the, the Merseyside derby and, and the. Um, Man City game. Uh, so let me know how you guys would play that. Centre mid, it's a bit of an if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think um, people might worry about Tom Davies' fitness after sort of uh, really running his heart out for 120 minutes in the cup. But if you think about Alan coming back, it's probably uh, one of his last opportunities to, to stay in the team. So I'd, I wouldn't deny him that. I'd say good enough performance to stay in. Stay in because next week Alan's probably going to have your spot in the team. Uh, which I think is sad uh, and, and probably quite detrimental to his development, uh, which is, uh, for me, skyrocketing at the moment. It, he's probably improving at a rate week on week better than ever before in his career. The sort of thing that a loan would do for a player. If we'd have loaned him two seasons ago, you know, we, we probably would have seen this a bit earlier. Next to him on, on, on the right side of him will be Abdullah Decore, of course. Um, those two seem like a... a <laughs> they're two players that are going to run. They're going to do a lot of a lot of dirty work. Um, as centre mid, uh, centre mid partners. Who are the other options? Andre Gomez. I'd maybe save him. Uh, Fabian Delph didn't even make the bench. You've got to think that's that's him done in the cup. 
um, and Mo Besic, but you know, it, not a chance. Uh, in front of them, for me, uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson. Yes, he was at fault for for a couple of their goals. His his defensive acumen are, are atrocious, uh, if if even there, uh, if even something that could be talked about. Um, but he seemed to to really put in a performance against Spurs that a lot of Everton fans are going to have wanted to have seen from him so much more often across the years. Um, you know, he had a performance, uh, and this is this is uh, my opinion, but but some of the things he did, if other players in our team had done them. Um, they would have got a lot of praise. For example, if if Hames uh, had had to come out with some of the balls or some of the assists that Sigurdsson came out with, um, we'd be hailing him as as the Messiah, you know. Um, and it doesn't help that Sigurdsson, of course, had the the defensive frailties. But um, you know, I, I'd keep him in in terms of in terms of rotation and what we're trying to do. On the right, that leaves space for Hames. I think we've got a very creative team there. Uh, if we've got all these players in, and against Fulham, I think we can we can have that luxury uh, and sacrifice a bit of defence. Up front, of course, no Calvert Lewin. A chance to give King a debut, which I think is uh, exciting. A good team to have it against. I think Fulham. Um, he might get a couple of more chances. Um, it'd be exciting to see how he does. Then on the left, I would go over Charlison. Uh, you could really swap those two round. One up top, one on the left, doesn't matter. What it does allow for is us to, to sort of change and mutate as we go forward. Hamez can come inside. Sigurdsson, you know, he can go out and make those those runs on the left and put a good ball in. Um, Richarlison sort of hitting that form against Spurs, wasn't he? He was the player of, of last season. Um, him and Gilfie Sigurdsson, actually, uh, our two joint top scorers last season, I think. Uh, both getting on the score sheet, both getting involved in the goals, which is great to see. And that's something we're going to need against Fulham with Calvert Lewin out. So that's my team, guys. Olsen in goal, a back line of Godfrey, Keane, Mina and Luca Dean. Decore and Davies as those two in the midfield, with Gilfie Sigurdsson just in front of them. And then a front line of Hamez, King and Richarlison. Can that do the job? Does that give us enough rotation? Let me know the answer to both of those, as well as what your team would be in the comments. Let's hope for a good result to kick on with, and I'll see you guys next time.